Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm back with another book unboxing from Once Upon a Book Club. I'm so excited. They sent this out to me because of VIP week. I'm a Once Upon a Book Club VIP and I'm so excited that they sent me another box. So we're going to open this up. I got to pick which book box I'd like. So I'm really excited because I don't have this book yet. And it is, I will show you. The Roughest Draft. I believe there's two authors here, Emily Wibberley and Austin Sigmund Broca. So I didn't know there was two authors. Um, I know this is like a really cute rom-com type book, so I'm excited that I now have it. Um, I've been really into like reading cutesy like romance books lately. Um, I like to read a little bit of everything, but these, it's just like fun for the summer and it looks like such a great summer read, right? Now this one is a paperback, which is totally fine. I don't mind paperback. I believe I did say in my last video, most of the time it is a hardcover book, but this one is paperback and that's totally fine. So let's look at the package that they sent and I can see that we have a signed book plate. Now, I know they released this box a few months back, at least, and I never got it. I'm pretty busy. Um, let me just show you. I've got, like, a lot of books over here to the side, and most of them are not read yet. So I didn't get a chance to grab this one yet. So I'm excited that now I do have it, and, of course, it will be one of my next reads because whenever I get a book box from Once Upon a Book Club, that box, that book is automatically bumped up to like my next read because I am too excited and can't just have a box of gifts waiting for me to open. So I need to read the book and get to the gifts. All right, so we get our uh, bookmark that goes with the book. So every book box from them comes with a matching bookmark. So let's see what this one says. There's no truth to these pages, but the trick of fiction is to make you think there is. I let myself fall for it as, I of as often as I can. Okay, and then always it says to fully experience this box, remember to only open your gifts once you reach the given page. Don't worry, we'll remind you. And like I showed you in my last video, the reminders are the post-it notes like we just passed. I don't like to read the sentence because I don't like to have any hints on what the gifts might be. Um, but they put a post-it note, a sticky note on the page to remind you when to open the next gift. So we've got our bookmark, our book, our signed book plate from Emily in Austin. Okay. I can't wait to put those in my books as soon as I get them. And then we've got these cards that they always give us and it's a letter from the authors writing a book with someone is a lot like loving someone it's wonderful exhilarating deeply fulfilling but it's nerve-wracking too in the ways intimacy is it takes trust it requires faith it demands knowing how to fight then to forgive it's, it's these fundamental similarities we wanted to bring to the page in the roughest draft we're married co-writers of four previous novels does that mean they're married in real life? I don't know. We're married co-writers of four previous novels, but this is our most personal by far, the story of how Katrina and Nathan find their way to reach each other by discovering themselves in, in their writing process. Writing this love story together was joyous in so many ways, shaping these characters' journey with years of shared experiences, shared struggles overcome, even shared jokes. But it could be intense, too, for reasons we wove into the couple's unresolved feelings. How much of your soul do you put into your writing? Sometimes prose comes too close for comfort to our deepest hopes, fears, dreams, or desires. Especially when co-writing with someone you have feelings for, literary efforts start to read like love letters or chapters like confessions. The hardest part of writing this book was unpacking our own relationship while rendering Nathan and Katrina finding their way to theirs. The result is the book we're proudest of, the one you now hold. We're very, very excited to invite you into the roughest draft, where the lines separating life from fiction melt in Florida heat. We hope you enjoy the read. E and A. So, married co-writers, does that mean they're married in real life? 
Or does that mean like they're like co-writer besties? I don't know. I'll have to look that up now because that would be really cute if they're actually married and wrote a novel together. Then we get our book club kit. Very cute. And it basically consists of discussion questions, sometimes a Q&A with the author. Is that them? Is that Emily and Austin? It's nice to put a face to the name. Is that them? He looks really young. All right. Let me see. Sometimes there's a picture of the author in the book. But, hmm. Oh, wait. All right, so I guess they are married in real life. Here they are. Emily and Austin. They met and fell in love in high school. Austin went on to graduate from Harvard while Emily graduated from Princeton. Wow. Jeez. Together, they are authors of several novels about romance for teens and adults. They are married. They live in Los Angeles, where they continue to take daily inspiration from their own love story. Cute. That's so interesting. I cannot imagine writing a novel with my uh, a significant other. So I give them credit. All right. And again, there's a book plate. Cannot wait to put that in there. All right. So here's our box of gifts. And it looks like the first gift will be on page... 16. I wonder what it is. I'm so glad it's on page 16. It's really nice when there's a gift like closer to the beginning of the book, but sometimes they're further in. So then we got a gift on page 95, a gift on page 160, and a gift on page 145. Okay. And this book looks like it's about just over 300 pages. Um, so it looks like most of the gifts come within the first half of the book. So that's exciting. Just like in my last video, I'm going to read the book on my own and then basically vlog when it comes to the parts of opening the gifts. And I'll show you that part so you can see the gifts. If you do not want to see the gifts, you don't want to be spoiled because you're thinking maybe you want to order this book box, then stop the video here so you don't get any spoilers. Um, I will also leave my discount code below so you can get a discount at checkout if you are interested in ordering a book box from Once Upon a Book Club. And I'm actually going to put the book plate on now because I just love book plates. I don't know why. Do you guys love signed book plates? I love them. All right. So um, I think I'll put it right on this page. Sometimes I put it on the inside, inside of the cover, but... I'm going to put it right here. Where do you guys put your book plates? I don't always put it like on a page because then I'm afraid like what if down the road a page gets torn out, but it's okay. There we go. Beautiful. All right. All right. It's that time to open up our first gift on page 16. So what I'm going to do is what I did last time. I'm just going to read... Uh, the sentence or a couple sentences where the post-it is and then we'll open our gift. I haven't peeked in yet. I did cut the bag open though so that just to make my life a little easier. All right, so he comes out of the kitchen carrying his coffee and sits on the couch, hardly glancing up. Where were you, he asks. I hold up the bookstore bag. I went to forwards. When did you come home? Okay, so that's when we open up our gift. So again, there's usually a hint right there. Um, usually the item is what's mentioned or something related to it. So let's see. I'm seeing canvas. And is it a book bag? Because that would be so cute. Ooh. Ooh. Well, let's look at this. Nice straps. Oh. And, but it feels like there's something in it. So it's a Jane Austen quote, it looks like. But let's see what's in this bag. Ooh. We've got... What? <laughs> what? Hold on. <laughs> okay. So I have a feeling this isn't a real... It is a book. What? Oh, okay. I'm so confused. Okay. So in this book, 
It's about two authors, a male and female, who have written books before, and they no longer work together anymore. The male came out with his first solo book. It wasn't doing too hot. It was called Refraction, and that's the author's name, too. So it looks like they put this cover on on this book. What is this? So I'm getting a second book in this book box. Murder at Mallowan Hall, Calling Cambridge. What? This is so cool. Hold on. Whoa, this is awesome. So I'm getting a second book and a book bag. That's amazing. I've never read anything by this author. Let me know if you have. It sounds like it's a thriller, mystery. So that's exciting. This is awesome. Ooh, thank you. Once Upon a Book Club. What a surprise. And I love that they made a cover to go along with this book. That is so cool. So awesome. Okay. And then they packed an extra strap, like a long one, probably. Yeah, that you can buckle in or snap into this. But it's a nice canvas book bag with a front pocket. Oh, I love it. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> nice. All right. I'll see you guys back with our second gift that I will be opening up. Obstinate Headstrong Girl. Okay. So I'm back with the next gift. So it falls on page 95. And I'm going to read the passage here and then we'll open the gift together. It's a clever speech. One I have the feeling she's pre-written. Craft and dialogue for herself the way she would for our characters. However, Katrina is nothing if not skillful. I have to concede I'm intrigued. I sip my drink, Katrina's white flag of black coffee. Even over the scent, I can smell her hand cream. All right, so we're going to open page 95's gift. I'll admit, I opened this last night when I was reading, um, but it was too dark to really film, so... I am doing that now, and then we're going to open the next gift, because um, I, I just got to that page. So I haven't opened that one yet, but so here's this one. So this is hand cream, and it's Once Upon a Book Club hand cream, fiction hand cream, coconut scented, um, and yeah, it's a good size container of hand cream. There we go. That's really cute. And it looks like it has writing all over it. So I haven't opened it yet, but I'm sure it smells awesome. So and now we're going to go to page 145 and read that page. All right, so let's see. You probably introduced yourself to the bookseller, I explain. They just pull up your catalog. Yes, he leans on the steps, metal railing, in no hurry. I notice in his pocket the leather pouch in which he carries his signing pens. So that right there gives me a little hint. Pens, pouch. Let's see, page 145. Oh, can I do this one-handed? That side's taped. I can do this, hold on. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. So we've got the Once Upon a Book Club. And I love how like the package has like a book all over it. It's got the cutest packaging, but okay. So it looks like it's a pouch. It's got the letters on there for Once Upon a Book Club. It feels really nice. And it feels like there's something in there. So let's open this up. Okay, and we've got some pens because it mentioned his pouch with his signing pen. So we've got a couple different pens here, yellow, blue, and pink. Very cute. I just opened up this one so you could just see 
Let me see if I can focus it. There we go. Very cute. I like it. Again, these are some gifts that you can actually use, you know? Everyone uses pens. Everyone uses hand cream. This is a cute little pouch, so very adorable. All right, I'll be back with the next gift in a little bit. Okay, so I'm at my next post-it note on page 160. I believe this is the last gift in the book box. I didn't see any more in the box. Sometimes they'll include post-its um, in the book as well. And like you can scan them and it'll like lead you to a song or something, but I don't think there's any more in here. But anyway, so we're gonna read the sentence and then open up the gift together. I haven't opened this up yet. It is such a cute box. I will say, I kind of wish, I know they have to have the page numbers on them, but I wish it was like stickers or something removable so that we could reuse these boxes, like for gift boxes. Um, because I, I can't really reuse them when it says like a page number on it, you know? All right, so. No, I think to myself, I won't give him that satisfaction. I shoved my bookmark carelessly into the pages of the book I wasn't reading. All right, so what do we think is in this? Hmm. Well, I think the clue was in that sentence. Okay, so let's open it up. And, well, it's a bookmark. Read between the lines, it says. And it's got a little tassel, hold on. Okay, so it's like a faux leathery type bookmark and it says read between the lines and it's got a cute little tassel in it. Very cute. And I like the color too. It's kind of like a, well, it looks like a seafoam green to me. I don't know if you can pick that up in the video. But yeah, okay, so that's the last gift. Again, this is something I can actually use, you know? It won't sit around collecting dust. This is something, this is a, it's a very practical gift. Voice over Alex here. I don't know what happened to my audio, so here we go. I just wanted to recap all the goodies that were in this box. I am obsessed with this book tote bag with the Jane Austen quote. Lovely straps, great material, really sturdy, nice canvas, front pocket, uh, comes with the additional long strap if you want to make it longer. Really awesome gift. I'm so happy they included that. And then we've got the bookmark, which is so practical in such a cute shade of green. And we've got the hand cream, which I'm probably not going to use. I'll probably give that away. So stay tuned because I'll probably do a giveaway video. And then we've got the pen case with the pens, which I might also give away. We've got the extra book that they included. Sorry, I'm having the weirdest time with my audio with this video. So... Anyway, this is the conclusion of the video. The gifts, like you saw, were the tote bag, that extra book, that was so cool. I'm, I'm so happy they did that. The hand cream, the bag uh, with the pens. And like I said, stay tuned because I'm sure in one of my future videos, I'm going to be doing a little giveaway, including some of the gifts from these book boxes that I don't need or already have similar items to them, so I don't need them, so I'll probably be doing a giveaway. I might even give away this book um, because it was a good read, but I don't, I don't need it in my collection. Anyway, enjoy this video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you read the book, The Roughest Draft, what you thought about it. Have you tried out Once Upon a Book Club? Let me know. All right, see you next time, guys. Bye.